Hello everyone, this is Matthew once again, and today I am downstairs right now in the living room here doing a a tray reaction review, which of course I haven't done one since the last time I did. And of course, um, I did one since for J the Joker Tita trailer when I used this type of room for doing a reaction to the trailer. And now this time, it's bald. James Bond. And before I begin, I guess I give you a little something here. First off, I have been a big fan of James Bond ever since I played the Golden Knight video game, as well as seeing the Pierce Bronson movies, as well as seeing Sean Connery's, Roger Moore's, and George Lazenby's, and Timothy Dalton's. And now, currently, we have Daniel Craig. And even at first, when Daniel Craig was cast as Bond for Casino Royale, I wasn't really too thrilled by it, especially when it's about the whole James Bond with blonde hair thing, like Roger Moore. But as time went on, I gave the movie a chance, like, like during my Thanksgiving break. And I was ultimately surprised by that movie. And it became not only one of my favorite James Bond films, if not my favorite, because I really don't know what is my favorite Bond film. But I do know that this is definitely one of my favorite movies I ever loved. Because I love Casino Royale. Daniel Craig, sensational as James Bond. He is sensational. I love him in Casino Royale. I do enjoy him in Kwame Solid, even though it's not that great of a Bond film, but it was fun. I love him as Skyfall. Spectre was good. Not great, but good. And now we have No Time to Die, which this will be the final time he overplayed James Bond. So, let's see how this trailer does to see if this film could really serve the conclusion for Daniel Craig as 007. So, got the remote here, and I need to get the volume turn up. Right about 44. Okay, so hopefully. Hopefully that's loud enough. I'm actually, no, let me just get up to like 50. There we go. Hopefully that's loud enough here. And just to let you know, Sony and MGM or Universal, whoever is watching this video, I do not own the rest of this trailer. This is just me doing it for fun. And I'm not showing any footage whatsoever. So please don't, don't take my video down for copyright reasons. So here I go. In three, two, one, pressing play. We all have our secrets. Father, after Mark. Woof. EMG be your first. The world is on and faster than we can respond. Where's 007? I need a favor, brother. You're the only one I trust for this. He flies back. Moved on, Commander Bond. Do you with double O? Two years. So stay in your lane. You get in my way. I will just build it in your name. The one that works. I thought you two would get along. <laughs> name? Bond. James Bond. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, Ned. Look, you are missed you. Is the most valuable asset this country has. If you feel yourself losing control, I'm not going to lose control. James, you gave up everything for her. When her secret finds its way out, there'll be the death of you. Well, Val. What is it? James Bond. License to kill. History of violence. I could be speaking to my own reflection. Only your skills die with your body. Mine will survive long after I'm gone. History isn't kind to men who play God. <laughs> nice. April 2020, ladies and gentlemen. April 20th. It definitely looks a whole lot of fun. 
I don't know who's going to sing the James Bond song. So I know for Daniel Craig, we have Chris Cornell, may he rest in peace. We have Alicia Keys and someone I forgot who, but I'm sure y'all look it up, like who the singer is. Adele for uh, Skyfall, which I won the Oscar for Best Song. The first time for a James Bond song that won the Oscar for Best Song. You have Sam Smith for Rise on the Wall for Spectre. Now this one, I don't know who. Maybe they could get Adele back. I really don't know. Because I really wasn't too crazy on that. No, the Rise on the Wall scene by Sam Smith. And I don't think it's really as Oscar worthy as everyone else is making it out to be. I like the Thomas Newman score version, but not a fan of the Sam Smith one. And no, I I had never heard that much of Sam Smith songs, and I never considered myself to be a fan. So, but yeah, this looks like a whole lot of fun, and definitely I cannot wait to see this to be Daniel Craig's final role. And also, I do apologize for this anger right here. I hope you get the best of my reaction to it as I was watching that trailer. So hopefully this is good. If not, then I'll know. And hopefully one day I'll get a tripod soon, so hopefully you can get the the, the right kind of angle goal that that you want me to do when I'm doing a trailer reaction, as well as, um, well, the, the angle that I wanted. But I digress. But yeah, it looks really good. I'm definitely excited to see James Bond come back. It's been like, well, we're back to the year 2020 next, next month, and it's been like five years since we had a Bond film, but now he's back, and this is the last time we're going to see Daniel Craig. That this will be his final days for his lights to kill. So, well, here we go for another adventure of 007. So anyway, let me know what you think of the trailer for No Time to Die. And also, let me know what you think of this video. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know. Feel free to put your comments down below and don't forget to subscribe button. As for upcoming videos, I have not got a chance to work on my reviews of the Dark Knight Trilogy, but hopefully one day I will. And I might review maybe some Christmas movies, but don't expect it to be that many. So I'll just review probably a handful or such. So anyway, once again... Go read your comments down below and don't forget to subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Take care, and I will see you guys later. Bye bye.